Hello everyone, Amity Sensei here. Today I want to talk about calculations using iPad. The iPad actually doesn't have a calculator app by default. The iPhone has one but not the iPad. So today I will show you how to do calculations on iPad both using an app and without using the app. I'm sure a bunch of people were wondering about this when they first got an iPad. So for those people I want to show you how to do calculations on iPad. First, we have appless methods. One of these is spotlight calculations. Spotlight is the thing that pops up when you drag down from the top of the screen. For example, if you put in 30 plus 20, it will show you the answer. To erase it, you just scribble over it using the scribble function. This is fine for basic stuff like adding and subtracting, but for multiplication, you use an asterisk. This is 50 times 3, or 150. For division, you use a slash. Even with these huge numbers, you will still work out. Spotlight can also do other things. For example, if you type 50L, you get 1.77 cubic feet. You can put in units and then, like this, you will convert them for you. This is how you use Spotlight for calculations. We also have Siri as well. Hey Siri! Hey Siri! She's not picking up. Hey Siri! What's 3000 times 2 divided by 14? And there you go. You can also do it with Siri. But I don't really recommend it. It just doesn't work right sometimes. This is how you can do calculations without an application. As for the app methods, I'll be introducing two of my favorite apps. They're called Calculator Pro and Calculator Plus. Let's start with Calculator Pro. This is a really simple and straightforward calculator app. The UI is really nice and there is a ton of functions like Square. If you're just doing basic stuff, then this is pretty good enough. And if you press this button here, it goes into conversion mode. And there's lots of stuff here, currencies, length, angles, etc. And this allows you to convert between these. For example, let's go with Euro and convert it to Japanese Yen. Type in 851 Euros and press Convert. That's 105,290.12 Japanese Yen. It makes converting super simple. Because this app has this feature bundled in, it's good not just for people doing normal calculations, but also for people who want to convert units. The next one is Calculator Plus. I like this one quite a bit. You can just put a formula here. For example, if you do times 62, it shows you the entire formula. And when you press equals, you move automatically to the next formula. I'll just put something random in here. Times 96 plus 85, you see the entire formula, and the answer comes out here. It also shows you the total of your answers down at the bottom. This is really useful. You see? You can keep adding this way for as long as you want. My favorite part is the tax button here. Press it, and it automatically multiplies by 1.1. It makes doing bills really easy. Just keep doing more calculations and the total comes up at the bottom. I don't really use Excel, but I can still do a lot of Excel things in this app. So if you're not really good with spreadsheets or programs like Excel, I definitely recommend Calculator Plus. So those are the two apps you can use and if you put them in your widgets, it's super handy. To test it out, put them both in. If you press the edit button at the bottom, a customize button pops up, and if you press it, this will all come up. Press plus and minus, and the app should appear at the bottom. There it is. Press plus here, and it will be added to your widgets. And you press done, it will be right there. 
Open this and the calculator shows up. You can't use the conversion function in widgets, but you can do the simple stuff right here. When you don't need it, just minimize it. It's the same with Calculator Plus. Just do this, type something in, and there you go. This one shows you the entire function, so it's really something. The widget version doesn't show you the total line by line like before, but it's great for a single line. Alright, that's all for our mini tutorial today. If you like this video or if you found this video useful, please hit the like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I make videos on tips and hacks on iPads, so please do that as well. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!